Hi, we're with Andre with Actiga, and uh, Andre, you concentrate on the uh, chemical side of the business for labels. So that's adhesives and coatings and things of that nature. Um, and you're a global company. Can you give us an idea of the size of your company by, um, say, by the number of employees and different locations in different countries? Sure. Um, um, Actiga has uh, different uh, locations all over the world. We have, I think, around uh, 1,500 people working at Actiga worldwide. We invest a lot in R&D, uh, in all continents, in all factories. And we are mainly focusing on the inks and coatings, adhesives for the uh, uh, packaging industry. Right. So for the, for the packaging side of it, there's a lot of different requirements. Um, some of the things that you and I discussed were uh, you know, flexible packaging, uh, paper substrates, and um, uh, you know, a variety of things for all those different environments that you would find the labels in. So that's uh, possibly pharma. Um, and household goods and food goods and things. Uh, we certainly saw some of those samples. Um, describe some of the differences that, that are required that, that printers need to be able to do when they have the ability to output um, virtually anything, but the products have specific demands. How are you helping them? So um, basically, Arctega is uh, focusing on the inks and coatings and adhesives. So, uh, uh, people are moving today a lot from uh, conventional flexo printing to uh, digitally printed labels. So they want to use the same coding for the same uh, kind of different machines. And at the end, uh, at the same time, while they're moving to digital, they are expanding their applications, uh, as you said, like pharma, food, uh, household products. And uh, they want a coding that can be used for as much application as they can. So we try to help them to see exactly what they want, what are the requirements. Because as you said, a pharma product, a pharma, a coding for a pharma product, we have a completely different characteristics than one for let's say a, a beer label or so. So uh, we try to see what are uh, the specific characteristics that they need and how we can help them as well uh, on the process that it coding works and it meets the, the final requirements. And you also have a profile and a concern about sustainability and uh, you know, the planet in general. And um, how, is that, how is that managed when so many different substrates are being introduced all the time that meet certain um, ec uh, ecological requirements? That changes what uh, some of the products you may already have. So how are you keeping up with that? So, um... Uh, sustainability is a very important topic. Uh, we uh, have a lot of uh, projects going on there. So we have uh, two new uh, innovations, very specific, uh, related to sustainability. We one, which one, one of them is uh, Ecoleaf, which is uh, uh, a metallization process, uh, focused on reducing uh, the, the waste uh, of oils. Uh, we have as well another one which is called uh, Signite, uh, is mainly focusing on the United States, uh, reducing as well the, the label requirement. And on the, our side, on the coding side, we are challenged a lot on the flexible package. So moving from uh, plastics to, to, to papers. So people want to have the water resistance of plastics, moving to papers and using a coding to, to give that protection. So it's uh, quite challenging and we try to see what are the, the possibilities and we try to help customers. As well as you said, the different substrates, so a lot of uh, recycled materials uh, who have a completely different uh, characteristics than a, a new uh, fresh produced paper uh, in terms of uh, absorption, uh, uh, surface tension, and uh, we try to see as much as we can as well. Uh, we have some projects uh, focus on uh, wash off labels. People want to wash the, the, the bottles, uh, especially for uh, glass bottles, wash the label. The label must keep its integrity, not losing ink or uh, these things, or as well a uh, uh, de-inking process for some applications where people want to use a coating who will protect the ink, but when it's washed, the ink will come off. So quite challenging 
for the coding applications that but, on that But these space. are very important for the industry. Andre, I want to thank you for that. That's uh, a, a very interesting range of products and a very important one for the industry. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Robert. Bye-bye. Thank you for your time. Bye.